Welcome to another Cena review. In this video, we'll be reviewing T uh, TMNT. Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. We'll be reviewing Metalhead. We'll be reviewing Splinter and Baxter Stockman. I forget his name. In this review, I'll be with my sister, Roxy, and my dad. These are, I think, our first ones from the cartoons. And That's right. We have a lot of the NECA uh, movie versions, but these are the first figures we've got from the cartoon series. First up will be Metalhead. Here's the packaging called the Mighty Metalhead. And this was a pre-order from NECA because we won't be able to find this now. at Target. The other one we did find at Target. And now we're on the lookout for... Uh, the Turtles. Well, no, the Turtles are already... That series is already gone. Well, uh, Rat King is the one we're looking for. Let me mm -hmm. cut it. Let me cut it. Yeah, cut it. So if you do the flap here, and then you can look at. I like the cartoon ones. They look very like almost blocky. Yeah, they're they're much cooler cool. looking. So this guy is pretty massive. Here he is. With his gills and stuff. And then here is the scene that comes with him. This is actually the back of the box. But this is actually a really cool scene. Um, I think, yeah, this is um, New York. And my dad will get out Metalhead. And while he does that, we're going to look at Splinter and Baxter. It comes with a, um, a little like, computer face thing. The um the scroll a book and oh yeah, this this one right here is hilarious. It's a book of all the turtles, but the actual artist they got their names from. So it's like it's like the, it's the, it's the names of the turtles, but the actually the artist. And Splinter comes with a lot of stuff, and then Batman comes with a lot of stuff, but he comes with a, still a decent amount. And then on the back. It shows some toys. I have no idea who those are. And who? Oh, you don't know who who are? Those guys. What? It says right there, General Trag and Granite yeah, Granitor. I don't know who that and is. And Zarox and Zorg. Um, is Sony supposed to happen when you pull down the lever on the back? Yes, that's what turns it on, right? Oh. Well, anyway, you put this little lever on the back. And if you have a metal head, you got, well, his metal head. And this is him. He's got very nice detail. And let's see. His um feet can Sorry. a little bit move. And then his um legs can't move that much either. He doesn't really have that much feet articulation. And his hand, his um his arms, his um shoulders have a lot more articulation. And then his head can move. He's got his chest pieces here. Oh, little stink grenades. Rah. Is there anything? I want to fight you. Rah. Rah. What is Skeletor doing here? Rah. Oh, there's his chest laser. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is cool. And it's like his... some chest. I am back. This is called a chest laser. And he has extra hands, but I'm not going to get him out of here. Oh, where do you, I got my staff. Where do you put the chest laser? Where do you put the chest laser, he says. Watch this. You're not looking. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's one of those things. Bum, bum, bum. And then, I oh, I see it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I will snap you. I can't get it in there. Um, if you guys can see it, there's a little tiny slit right there where you're supposed to put it in. I, if I can get it in. Jenna, mm. oh, it helps. Need some help? Yeah, I can't get it in. And there's also, those, yeah. there's also a little hole at the bottom for the wire. So I can drill. Where is the metal head for me to block? His vacuumish thing. You're not vacuuming up vacuum. Did you say mm. vacuumish thing? Yes. Is it, what the hell it looks like? It's like a vacuum. It is. It's a vacuum. He helps Donatello clean the house. I mean the sewer. That is so much less cool than what I thought it did. 
Gotta use it to suck up people. But no, it just cleans the floor. There's his chest laser. Here's his chest laser. You attach the wire. You have to you attach the wire and everything. If I'm... Oh, wait, this isn't working. Gotta resort to my ultimate weapon. Vacuum! <laughs> drill arm. I don't really understand how you hold the drill, but there. I just stuck it on his fingers. Doesn't have the most articulation of any finger. But, um, got some nice articulation. He got his little switch in the back that you can pull up and down for no absolute reason. Because I don't think it does anything. And, yeah, that's, um, oh, this is actually really pointy. The drill piece, really pointy. And that's pretty much it for him. Now we're going to get into Splinter and Baxter. If you can see here are all the different commands for Splinter and for Baxter Stockman. Sure here, here is what the scroll say. The scroll. What does it say? How do I know? Here's the scroll. Where's the book? Here's the book. And then here's the the book of all the artists. The packaging on this is crazy. And my dad's on the try and get stuff out of packaging. The book called Art. Oh, the first one's out. Here he is. Bug eyes. His wings. That actually his wings flap? The wings actually, yes, they can actually go up and down. And then he's got these little arms here. You can move his arms, not that much. His wrists move, though. And then his knees. He's got dual knee joints, so that's kind of nice. He's got elbow joints, so... A lot of articulation. You can move his head, but his coolest part still is the wings. And then, yeah, all the um, purple ones are all his hands. But now we've got Splinter. Here he is. Got his tail. Under the, um, here, under here, you can actually see that the tail, um, goes up. You can pull it up. He's got his, um, same articulation, mostly, as Baxter, because, yes, he does not have wings. He said he has a tail. His, he can do this. Instead of wings, he has a tail. He can do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. He's got, he's actually got, like, dual neck rotation. He's got a piece of neck rotation right here, and then he's also got the head rotates. They have some serious packaging on them. <laughs> you guys have a scissor? He's actually got like almost like cloth um rope. One thing I found cool is his toes actually bend. Huh? So you can actually move his toes a little What's bit. What's awesome is how much like the show he actually looks like. Oh yeah, I haven't seen the show, but um I guess. You haven't seen the original? No! What do you mean? I've only seen the the um the uh, first one, Secret of the Ooze, and um, Heroes, and um, Heroes in Time. So Turtles in Time. You only seen the movies? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we watched some of these episodes. And now, some he, here are some Splinter feet. I think those are. Splinter's cane. No, you just picked up the gun. Oh, here it is. Uh, here is a gun, even though I've never before seen a gun in all of Ninja Turtles. Ice Splinters. Then, here is... His cane, that you can hold. Here is a sword. Really nice detail on the sword. Really nice. And then he's got, seriously, how much stuff is here? <laughs> he's got There's his metal. There is some fire. Huh? Are these a fire can so touch the sword? these are these are from specific oh. episodes. Here is some sort of ray gun with tons of different animals on it. Wait, the, Here's Baxter's computer. Here is hands. a little um, warrior fly. Uh, a, a warrior fly? Who is that? Look oh, at it. I don't know who that is. What does it look like? Oh, this is Splinter? No. It's okay. Shredder. Oh, it's... It's Shredder turned into a fly. Um, oh, yes, it's like it turns into it's a different animals. Here is a, um, a rat, and then here, Ooh. oh my god, 
Um, Mikey might need some help. He's a, what is he? A gerbil? I think he's a, a gerbil. Bunny. Yeah, he's a gerbil. I'm not Mikey's a gerbil here. Yeah, so we need to find all the episodes that this stuff comes from. I, oh my god, there's more stuff. These are just the hands. Here's a pot. For some flowers. Oh, here's a TV. If you look at it differently, there's different faces. It's not a TV. <laughs> it's a computer. <laughs> I have to admit. Oh, I'm trying to get the, the mouth. Like Wait, whose hands are these? Oh, he has mouth to open if you look at it from an angle. Metal hand. Metal hands. Yeah, like, he has mouth to open if you look at it from a certain angle, but there's a little tablet. Oh, these are actually metal heads hands. That's how he holds the stuff. Okay. So and he's, this he's got four different hands. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, what's this? Careful, Erica. Okay. Move out of the way. There. So now Splinter can do his meditation on his... Oh, the mat. Mat. So it would be in his dojo. Come on, Splinter. You can stand. Keep up. Got a computer there. There's Baxter Stockman. Did you show all the, the way the arms move? Yep. They're, They're all from... We are hoping these don't break quickly as they do in some people's uh, posts. There's a little sewer scene in the back of the box, if you can see that. You can't really see it, but... Come on, Baxter. You can stand. And stand on the wall. I don't think this is Splinter's metal. <laughs> I think it. And it does. It does go on Splinter. How does it fit, though? It just needs to go over his ears. So now Splinter's taking pride in his karate medals. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he was all about not being a show off. Seriously, they gotta get some stuff straight with this. But, um. Do you need help getting out? Oh. Here is his medal. If you can see that. Is this a staff? Yes, it's a staff. That's his cane hey. that he walks with. Oh. Because, you know, he's old. Or so they say. Here's uh, Baxter's traditional hands. Mm. So he can hold his blasters. I just noticed that his blaster can actually be held by his um his insect arms. Look how cool these splinter hands are. Look, he's holding his um blaster with his insect arms. Guys, look, the storm's on fire. This one says. Oh, that is actually really cool. You are the one. Uh, this is another hand, and here's another. Oh wait, no, that's not the way it goes on. Look at that. What is this hand saying? And then you can see here, he's got a flaming sword. Flaming sword? Is that Splinter's flaming sword? I don't know. The, yeah. the, um, the fire can fit on it, so. Yeah, it's when his sword catches on fire with his energy, I guess. I don't remember that episode, but I'm sure it wasn't one of the episodes. We'll have to find it. This is all just like random stuff. It is awesome stuff. What? So I mean, they could have like, they could have made this without all those cool little extra pieces, right? Why would they have to include this? But it's so fun. But it is so much cooler that they did. Especially this. This is actually probably my favorite thing out of all of this. Has got to be this shredder. Hey, tiny shredder. He's probably screaming at the top of his lungs. And he sounds like who's little, this? I can't focus. There it is. Who's this? That's the that's Splinter before he turned into a. Well, again, in the cartoon, he's a human that turns into a rat, but in the movie, he's a rat that turns into a rat. A human <laughs> rat. He's a rat. He's <laughs> a rat. Well, that's our review for Metalhead, Splinter, and Baxter. Stand. Stand. Don't forget to leave Wait, a like think, and subscribe. I think Splinter wants a vacuum. <laughs> Flaming Sword, goodbye.